I'm Tara Murray, the librarian for the American Philatelic Research Library. In this video, I'll show you how to search our library catalog for a book. We'll start on the library catalog homepage, and let's type the title of a book that we're looking for. To start the search, click Submit Query. On this screen, you'll see that we found 71 records. And you'll notice the first few on the screen do not have the title I searched for, Fundamentals of Philately. That's because the catalog is matching on those four words anywhere in the record, not necessarily in the title. Rather than scroll through these 71 records, let's refine the search. Go back to Catalog Search, and then on the right-hand side of the screen, click on Switch to Advanced Search. Now you'll see we have more search options, including a title field. Let's try typing the title there. Again, click Submit Query to start the search. Now you'll see we have only 47 records, and the first few do have the title Fundamentals of Philately. Why are there so many records for the same book? Some of these are different editions or different printings. For example, number two and number three on this list, number two is the first printing and number three is the fourth printing. The first one, however, has a location code RNPL. That stands for the Rocky Mountain Philatelic Library. Why are we finding this record in the APRL catalog? That's because it's a union catalog and includes records from multiple philatelic libraries. Number two and number three on this list, you'll see have location code APRL, and that means that they're held by the APRL. Now, if we're a member of the APS or the APRL and we want to borrow a book, we're gonna to wanna to find the one located at the APRL. Fortunately, it's easy to restrict the search to titles in a specific library. Just above the Submit Query button, you'll notice a drop-down box. By default, it says All Libraries and Indexes, but we can change that to any of the libraries on this list. Let's change to APRL. Again, click Submit Query, and now you'll see we have four records, and they're all located at the APRL. Let's see details about this 1990 revised edition, number three on the list. Click on Full Display, and now we see all the information about this title, including basic publication information, subjects, some notes about the book, and down at the very bottom, item information, which tells us that the APRL has three copies. Let's try another search. Let's go back to the simple search. And this time, instead of looking for a specific title, let's for, look for a book on a topic. We'll leave the APRL selected because we want to find books located at the APRL. On this screen, we can type the words we're looking for in any order. Click Submit Query, and you'll see we found 42 records. Now you'll notice the first two on this list are a little different than the records we were seeing before. The first one, as noted at the end of the record, is an auction catalog. The second one, again, as noted at the end of the record, is a government document. We're really looking for a book, though, so let's go back and refine our search. Click on Catalog Search to go back. We'll type in our subject again. And in the Record Type box, type Book, then Submit Query. Now you'll see we have only 26 records. And these are, in fact, books, and because we selected APRL, they're all located at the APRL. Let's try one more search. This time, let's look for a book by an author. Again, on the screen, we can type our search words in any order. Now, you'll see from this first record, this is not actually a book by Chester Smith, the author author I searched on. It's coming up because it was published in New Chester, Pennsylvania, and likely the word Smith is somewhere in the record. 
Again, let's try refining the search. Go back to catalog search, then switch to advanced search, and let's type the author in the author field. Now here we need to type the last name followed by the first name. Now you'll see we're getting only resources authored by Chester Smith. This concludes the basic library search tutorial. Remember, you can always get more tips by looking on the right-hand side of the library catalog screen for help.